Hello everyone, it's Diane. I have been waiting all day to do this video so that I could see what was in these Happy Mail envelopes. But uh, my daughter was here. She came. Um, I wasn't planning on her being here, but uh, I was watching my granddaughter today, my son's daughter. And my daughter had today off, so she came over and spent, spent the day here. So I didn't want to open these. They came pretty pretty early after my daughter came and I didn't want to open them without being able to show them share them with you I got two happy mails I actually got three happy mails I got a couple of little golden books from someone that they don't um, want me to video about it so I got three happy mails in one day so I wanted to show you this one with that really adorable image that she cut out and taped to the envelope I love it so let's, I cut it open. There was a lot of tape on it, but I got into it. So let's see what's in here. Okay, I guess that's everything. Okay, looks like we have a Snoopy card. I love peanuts. Oh, this is my card from her. This is from Pat, Patricia. She's 80 years old and has so much to share and pass on. She has way too much stuff. <laughs> she says, the paper, lace, material, etc. will push me out of my house before I can use them all. Oh, how sweet. I'll finish reading that. I'll finish reading that in a bit. So, this is a pretty envelope. Look at all these envelopes with the stripes and there is something inside each one. That is great for a uh, recipe card or a recipe journal. They're just cut into pieces. Oh, and there's one of those um, children's domino type of cards. This is cool. I like these. These will be great in um, recipe books. Thank you, Patricia. Here we have some cards. Life career cards, the game of life. Elephant, she probably heard me talking about doing an elephant book. There's a clown, his um, business card. Oh, there's a card from Antiques Roadshow. Burger King Kids Club. These are cute. Albion, New York. Tilbin's Historic Village Inn. Oh, oh, it's so cute. There's two tags. Oh, I love them. Love them. There's some Santa tags. They're adorable. I'll put them with my Christmas things for next year. These are little um, Hallmark. I bet, I bet this, nope. Does this go in there? Maybe. Anyway, they're little envelopes with a little uh, sticky part to attach to a package. Round playing cards, some shaped like baseballs and some with gears. Those are cool. Valentine. And some trivia card, I think. Cool. I love stuff like that. Next envelope. Without music, life would be a mistake. Oh, and these are book plates, probably for music books. I like them. These are nice cards. They'll be great for journaling spots in journals. It looks like there's several there. Oh, this is just a cow shape. Great for my farm journal that I'll be doing. Probably be doing more than one. There's a clown envelope. Oh, how cute. Very cute. And these are coasters, it looks like. 
There's a tree, it says give thanks, and on the other side is a pumpkin. Very nice, they're thin enough that they'll be great to use in journals. They could be a tuck spot or something. Thank you so much, Patricia. Oh boy. Oh, oh. I think she's the one, she must be the one who said she was going to be sending me some cards for my chocolate journal, which I am working on right now. Hershey's Milk Chocolate. <gasps> Trading cards. Oh, I love these. More sustaining than meat. I can't wait to tell you guys my story of why Hershey's is important to my family. I'll tell you about that while I'm working on my journal with you. Got to tell you, I was making some... <laughs> Have you met Mr. Goodbar? Good? You bet. Five cents. I was working on stamping some e ephemera chocolate cigars for my, um, for my chocolate book yesterday, and I did a video of the ephemera I was making, and I could not upload the video. I had made two or three videos, I think just two yesterday, and the second one wouldn't upload. I tried it three times, and it just kept saying the upload failed, or download failed, or whatever. There's a Hershey plant in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Um, their, their street signs are named like that. This one's Coco. Avenue and Chocolate Avenue, and when I was there, the lamps were shaped like Hershey Kisses. These are so cool. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you so much. I remember these. I don't think they make them anymore, Hershey's Cocoa Mix. I remember those cans. Then she sent me Take an afternoon to window shop together. This must have been something special from Godiva Chocolates. And this, Hearts and Chocolate. And Don't Give Up, Tomorrow Will Be Better. Look at that. Oh, it's got a scripture on the back. Each one has a picture of a chocolate. I love this. And a scripture on the back. Cool. Take a nap. Aw, thank you. I love these. I'm going to leave these right out and make sure they get in my book. And then the rest are just envelopes with the pretty striped flap. Thank you so much, Patricia. This is awesome. Especially the envelope of chocolate stuff. Oh, thank you. All right, my battery light's flashing. I'm hoping I'll be able to do this envelope. She also decorated her package with some pretty things. This one is from June. She has sent me happy mail before. Hey, love this. Nice piece of paper with a twall print on it. I love the burgundy color. That's nice. There's another piece of it. A couple, couple of scraps. Beautiful. Love them. Um, let's do this. Pretty tissue paper. Oh, they're golden books. Look at that tissue paper. Something's in the Backyard, copyright 1968. Look at those cute pictures. Look at the caterpillar. Beautiful. That's lovely. Even the back cover is pretty. This is Tell a Tale book, Little Bear and the Beautiful Kite, 1940. <laughs> the 
really cute. The Boy with the Drum. I've never had this one. Nineteen sixty-nine. Look at that adorable boy. This is Eloise Wilkin. Beautiful. Look at that beautiful soft artwork. Kind of looks like car colored pencils. Really nice. He's so cute. This is similar to what your granddaughter did. I like that page. And another golden book that I've never seen. Well, I've seen The Boy with a Drum on people's videos, but I've never had it. This one I've never seen. Wild Animals. Um, 1960. Fun. Look at the bears. I like bears. It's scribbled on that back. Oh, this is came unattached, but that can be glued back down. Koalas. Oh, look at the llamas. Oh, thank you. This will make a really great journal. And some satin fabric, it looks like. Green satin fabric. Statement account book. Oh, look. Fun. I could just maybe decorate the cover. There's a little space for a card in the back. I could just tuck this whole thing into a pocket. Don't need to take it apart. That's really cute. And we have a Scotty dog. Piece of stationery. It's a, like a little note card, but it's paper. She sent me several of those. They're adorable. An owl. Several owls. From a book. with some quotes on the back. Thank you. Quite a few owls. These are so cute. I like them. Then we have, looks like vintage doilies. Quite a few here. And I love these older ones because they don't have the solid center. It's just Beautiful, delicate lace look all through it. And there's quite a few there. Thank you, June. Here we have a par portion of a handkerchief with some embroidery and some crochet. These will make uh, this will make a beautiful pocket. Maybe in my chocolate journal because I'm using brown and pink in my chocolate journal. There's a half of a doily. Beautiful beautiful lace at the edge and the embroidery. And another portion of a table runner. Oh, how pretty is that? Again with the delicate lace around the edges. is a piece of linen. That is gorgeous. I love that. I'm going to have to coffee dye this one, I think. It's got some staining here, which I think adds some beauty to it, it since we're going for vintage looks, but I might coffee dye that. So pretty. It feels like a nicely starched linen, but it's been water damaged. But I don't mind. I'll use it. It's such a pretty embroidery on it. Um, this one is hand embroidered. It's got a couple baskets and a couple flowers and pretty lace. Love that. This one's pretty. Another basket with flowers. More lace edging, crocheted edging. 
I like the floppy feel of this linen. Thank you so much, June. Oh, this is pretty. I love this. I think this is going to go in my chocolate journal as some sort of a flap or something. That is really pretty. Beautiful. Oh, that's the front side. Thank you. And this green satin fabric I'll probably um, use in a Christmas journal next year. It's such a pretty emerald green. Um... Oh, what else do we have here? It's quite a bit here. This fabric is beautiful. Love those um, colors and the Victorian look to this fabric. It looks like a, it was a curtain or something. There's a hem. Really pretty. There's some... Um, I thought these were labels, but they're like little, um, probably place cards for a table. There's a little bit of um, an embossed frame around it. They are cool. I like these. There's my card. Aww. <laughs> Adorable. She decluttered again. These things were bought at a thrift store. Okay. I might need these in my... Um, in my planner. I have the Franklin Covey planner and I love to use these weekly compass cards. I write out things that I want to do for the week and cross them out as I do them. And I ran out and I bought new ones but they're different now. They're, they come all in a sheet and you have to, they're perforated, you have to tear them apart. They're thinner paper. This one's neat. I like that. There's quite a few here. I can coffee dye some of these. It's red on one side and black on the other. Nice. Got some lace wrapped around this tissue paper. Oh, she crocheted this. Thank you, June. Look at that beautiful crochet that she made. I think I'm going to put a piece of this in my own, uh, my friend's binder, which I haven't been working in, but I've been setting aside Happy Mails that I need to go through and organize and make sure I have it all you know who gave me what so I can do a page but since June made this herself a piece of that will have to go in that journal Gail gave me the idea for that and I see that um, Diane Shaw is doing that now there's some pretty crocheted trim quite a nice piece of that beautiful love it And this pineapple crochet. I really love that. My mother used to um, crochet doilies out of with this pineapple pattern. She did a lot of crochet with with yarns and also with the crochet thread. So that's nice. These are pretty. It has an image on it. Looks like a woman and a cat. I'm not sure what this is here. Hmm. It's the same thing. Maybe it's a spinning wheel. I don't know. It's really pretty. I like I like that it's um, triangle shaped. This one's pretty. Oh look, it's a clover in the middle. Shamrock. I like this. Very delicate. So nice. Okay, I think that's everything. I got through it before my battery died. Thank you so much, Patricia and June. I love everything you sent. And and um, my um, other one that sent me some books. Thank you also. You know who you are. And I just am so appreciative of everything that you guys do. The comments you leave and um, supporting my shop. And just thank you so much for your friendship. <clears throat> so um, it's getting kind of late I didn't get to do any crafting today but tomorrow's another day so maybe I'll do something tomorrow I'll see you uh, again someday thank you bye bye <laughs>